He'd been threatening to resign for months, but his departure will still bring fresh crisis to the efforts to find peace in Syria. The question is, how many more dead, how much more destruction there is going to be before Syria becomes again the Syria we have known, the new Syria that will be different from the Syria of the past, but it will be uh, the Syria we have loved. Mr. Brahimi has long been recognized as one of the world's most brilliant uh, diplomats, as well as outstanding proponent of the principles of the Charter of the United Nations. A man of such achievement and experience, who himself took over the job from former Secretary General Kofi Annan, it begs the question, is there anyone who can now bring peace to Syria? Later, Dr. Brahimi arrived to brief the Security Council behind closed doors. In that briefing, one glimmer of hope. Al Jazeera's learned that Dr. Brahimi told ambassadors there'd been a new proposal from the Iranians suggesting they could perhaps arrange a new interim government in Damascus and talk even that they may be prepared to work with Saudi Arabia to create a regional solution. And After the meeting, Dr. Brahimi spoke to reporters. On this sad day for you, what's your message to the Syrian people? Um, apologies once more that uh, we haven't been to help we have been able to help them as much as they deserve as much as uh, we should have uh, and also uh, to tell them that the tragedy in their country shall be solved uh, they have shown incredible resilience and dignity the problems for Dr. Brahimi's successor were highlighted by comments from the Syrian ambassador showing the UN as an organization may have difficulty working as a mediator. He confirmed that his boss, President Assad, is refusing now to take phone calls from Ban Ki-moon. It's true that our president doesn't respond to his calls. Uh, this is true, yeah. Uh, well, and this is unfortunate, actually, because uh, uh, we drew his kind attention to the fact that he should, you know, he should act as uh, the highest diplomat in the, in the world, as we say. And a diplomat shouldn't also make uh, public statements on, uh, on the president of, of a member state uh, in this organization. As 80-year-old Dr. Brahimi departs from what will almost certainly be his last international mission, the UN Secretary General must now decide his next steps. Here at the UN, names are already circulating of former distinguished politicians and officials who could take Dr. Brahimi's job. But there's a harder task facing the UN Secretary General than just finding a name. If he is going to get Iran and Saudi Arabia involved in a regional peace plan, he must get backing from the UN Security Council. And the US in particular has made it clear it's reluctant to see any Iranian involvement. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.